Hello everyone, I am Anna and welcome back to my channel. This weekend and it's another vlog and recipe for me to share with you guys. And dahil na weekend na yun, naisip ko na why not let's cook a recipe na hindi na naman siyang weekend pero it will take time to cook. Just like pulled pork barbecue. And using pulled pork barbecue, gagawa pa tayo ng additional two recipes. Gagawin natin siyang spring roll and have you ever tried to eat pork that's so tender and full of flavor? And amazingly, you can do different recipe out of it. If not yet, then join me and let's cook. Let's prepare our rub first. I have here 1 teaspoon of cumin, 1 teaspoon of paprika, 1 teaspoon of cayenne pepper, 1 teaspoon of ground pepper, 1 teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of Chinese vibe spice. And then, we have to mix all of this. Mix lang natin siya. And then, ito rub din natin siya sa pork natin later on. Once we're done, let's set this aside. And, we proceed to our pork. We are going to use uh, 1 kilo of pork shoulder or we call it kasim. This is the perfect part of pork to use for this recipe kasi makikita mo uh, meron siyang enough fats na kailangan natin for the recipe. Yan. You see? But we have to take out the skin because we don't need the excess fats. So, tanggalin na natin yung skin. Carefully lang para hindi tayo mahiwa. From here, dinidire-diretso ko na lang i-slide yung knife carefully para matanggal yung skin. Basta make sure na matalim yung knife ninyo ha, para hindi kayo mahirapan. Okay? And... Lapit na tayo matapos. Konti na lang. Okay? yung excess fats. Then, meron pa sa other side, tanggalin din natin siya. Huwag yung tatapon yung pork skin, ha? Kasi pwede nyo pa siyang gamitin panahog sa vegetables. Wala tayong itatapon dito kasi sayang. This recipe is perfect for busy homemakers like me na always on the go, always on the rush. Parating na weekdays, wala nang time para magluto. Kasi ito, pag na-prepare mo ng weekend, ilalagay mo na lang siya sa ref. And then, pag kailangan mo na, ilalabas mo na lang siya. Ayan na, natanggal na natin yung skin. So, papath dry na natin siya. We have to make sure na yung ating pork ay walang water, excess water. Dapat dry siya para kumapit yung rub sa kanya. Or else, tutunawin lang nung water yung rub natin. So, sayang lang. And now, we have to prepare the pork. Ako ang ginagawa ko kasi kakat ko siya into two. Para mas madaling lutuin at mas malagay ko ng maayos yung rub. Now, galagay na natin yung rub. Okay, mo lang siya on top and then... Rub mo na siya. Guys, please be generous sa rub ninyo ha. Kasi, yun yung magpapasarap ng pork natin. Magpapalasa sa kanya. So, be generous. And, uh, massage nyo siya. Yan. Para kumapit yung ating spices. Okay? Just like this. And then, yung isa naman... Kita nyo, dahil nga 
dry siya, kung makabit ng maayos sa kanya yung ating spices, yung ating rub. So, hindi siya natutunaw. Like, kapag basa, tutunaw siya. Yan, imamassage natin. Yan. Kunti na lang. Namin niya itong rub na to, pwede niyo din siyang gamitin. Um, hindi lang dito sa recipe na to, pwede niyo din siyang gamitin sa iba niyong recipe. And, um, sa fish, sa chicken, pwede niyo siyang gamitin. Sobrang sarap niya. Okay? And then, malapit na tayo matapos. Yan, yung mga pinaka dulong dulo ilalagyan natin. Just make sure na meron lahat ng parts. Tapos, um, we have to set this aside for 5 to 10 minutes. Yung marinade lang muna natin siya. Um, kung meron kayong time, you can marinate for um, overnight. Much better. Pero ako kasi ngayon wala na akong time. So, 5 to 10 minutes will do. After 10 minutes, ito na yung itsura niya, guys. Yan. Kita nyo kung mapit na sa kanya yung spices natin. Kahit di pa masyadong matagal. Mas maganda talaga kapag overnight. Pressure ko pa natin siya iluluto ngayon. Pero isisir muna natin siya. And then now, let's put the oil. Konti lang. Enough lang para isir yung ating pork. And, lagyan na natin yung pork natin kapag nainit na yung mantika. Enough lang para sa dalawa to. Actually, malaki nga yung pressure cooker na to eh. Pero okay na yan. Sisir lang natin yung pork. Personally, mas gusto ko na sinisir muna natin yung pork bago siya ibuboil. Kasi sa akin na mas lumalabas yung lasa ng mga spices natin kapag napapansir natin siya compare kapag binuboil siya. Pero, pwede din naman na i-boil na lang din siya diretsyo na. Papalambutin mo na kaagad yung pork. And then, let's flip carefully. Ayan. As you can see, meron na siyang brown. Nagbabrown na siya. And then, nakikita nyo yung color. Ganda ng color ng oil, di ba? That's from our spices. Actually, from the paprika and the Chinese pipe spice. Medyo magbigat siya. Ayan. Sige. Go. Ayan. Then, sa other side tayo, hintayin lang natin siya na mag-brown ulit. This is the color that we are looking for. Brown. Ayan. Ang ganda ng color niya. And it smells amazing, guys. Now it's time to add the onion. I'm using white onion here, chopped. I'm using white onion kasi yung white onion meron siyang sweetness na nabibigay dito. We don't need to caramelize the onion guys. We just have to mix it para magkaroon na din ng um, spices yung ating onions. Okay. And let's mix and scrape the pan. Kasi sayang yung flavor from the pan. Yung mga nakadikit na yan, it's flavor. So, kailangan natin yan. Continue scraping lang, guys. And then, we are going to put na our pork stock. You can also use chicken stock. And we also have to use alcohol. We are, we are going to use beer. Mga one cup lang naman. I'm using here one and a half cup of pork stock. And one cup of beer. And don't worry kasi matatanggal naman yung alcohol from the beer. We just need the, the flavor from the beer. This is still safe to eat by your little ones. Now, we have to cover our pressure cooker and let it cook for one and a half hour. And while waiting for our pork to be cooked, let's chop our green bell pepper. Let's chop this into tiny cubes. There you go. And then, let's chop our coriander or we call it one soy. Ilalagay din natin kasi ito mamaya dun sa ating uh, spring rolls. 
Oo nga pala guys, I will put the ingredients on the description box below for your easy reference. I'm starting to shred the pork. You can see it's very tender. Napaka dali lang niyang i-shred. Pwede rin yung gawin to using your hands or kagaya nito using your fork. Then we just have to finish all of this. And now I'm done with shredding the pork. It's time to put our barbecue sauce. You can use any kind of barbecue sauce that you like here, guys. Ha? Pwede homemade din ninyo. One time gagawa tayo ng barbecue sauce. Oh nga pala guys ha, please leave a comment below kung ano yung mga recipe na you want me to cook for you. Let's put our barbecue sauce. I'm using here 3 to 5 tablespoons of barbecue sauce. Actually, it depends on your liking pa din naman. Um, hindi lang ako masyado naglalagay ng madami because yung pork itself is flavorful na, full of flavor na siya from our spices, from the pork stock, and also from the beer. So, hindi natin siya masyadong kailangan ng uh, masyadong madaming barbecue sauce. And, we have our pulled pork. Pinagdagan ko na lang siya ng konti pang barbecue sauce kanina. And, iti-divide ko na siya into two. One for the feet and wrap and one for the spring roll. Hindi lang spring roll and feta wrap yung pwede natin magawa out of this recipe. Pwede rin tayong gumawa ng uh, bread. Pwede siya sa baguette or sa thin roll. Nalagyan lang siya ng coleslaw and lettuce, mga vegetables. Pwede na siya. Let's do first our feta. I'm using whole wheat here guys ha. Pero pwede naman kahit hindi whole wheat. Gusto ko lang yung mas maraming fiber. Talagyan natin muna ng cheese para madaling matuno yung cheese kapag ginreal natin siya mamaya or ininit sa pan. And then, we have to put our pulled pork. Ayan. Be generous guys ako kasi generous ako pa naglalagyan ng pulled pork ng meat sa aking wrap. And then, let's add our onions, white onions. It adds freshness. And then, we will add our uh, vegetables. I have here spinach. Na blanch ko na siya. Ayan. Pipili lang ako nung gusto ko ang part. Okay. And we add the green bell pepper. na lang din natin siya. Just like this. Cover. Let's fold and put some pressure sa magkabila ang side. And let's fold. Then. And initin na natin siya sa pan. Ayan, on top of your pan. Wala na siyang oil, okay? Para nyo siyang ginigrills on top of your pan. Tapos, ipipress nyo lang din siya. Just have to wait. Kailangan maging ganito na yung pagka-brown niya. Ayan. And this is our finished product. Ikakat lang natin siya. Fresh from the stove. And there you have it. Set up. This smells good, guys. So, gagawa pa tayo na isa pang recipe. Now, let's proceed with our spring roll. We need a flour. I have here one teaspoon of flour and we put some water. This will serve as our glue. So, dissolve lang natin yung flour sa water. Now, dissolve na siya. Let's set this aside. This is half of the pork kanina. Lalagyan lang muna natin siya ng vegetable. 
let's put our uh, bell pepper and then our coriander or the one soy and mix we have to make sure na incorporate yung vegetable na maigi dun sa pork okay and we are now ready to prepare our spring roll I have here my spring roll the pulled pork and my flour and water mixture lagay na tayo ng pork sa ating spring roll this is how I do it medyo madami akong maglagay ng pork sa aking spring roll mas preferred namin kasi ni hobby yung malalaking size ng spring roll, yung pagkagat mo ang dami niyang laman Guys, I don't use uh, additional sauce here ha, yung sa usawan kasi malasa na yung ating spring roll. But if you choose to um, use na sa usawan, pwede naman yung barbecue sauce na ginamit din natin. And then, i-wrap na natin siya. Fold muna natin yung sa harapan. And then, press. Make sure na na-press natin siya na maigi. And then, sa sides both sides put some pressure guys ha kapag nagpo-fold kayo ng inyong spring roll or kahit yung ordinary siyang high lang din and then fold and our flour and water mixture is our glue kasi pag ordinary water lang parang hindi siya masyadong dumidikit eh then fold again and that's it we are done. And let's fry our spring roll. Kailangan mainit na yung oil natin, okay? Hindi natin siya kailangan i-fry ng matagal kasi luto na yung ating uh, pork. And madali rin maluto or mag-brown yung ating spring roll. So, no need to fry ng matagal. And look at that, golden brown spring roll. Guys, this is the color that we want for our spring roll. Hindi siya masyadong brown. Yan, golden brown ang itsura niya. This is perfect. And our spring rolls are cooked. And drain them using your paper towel. And there you have it guys, two recipes you can enjoy and prepare ahead. I hope you like the video and try this at home. If you do, please like and subscribe to my channel for more recipes. Until my next vlog, have a good day!